We're just excited. I mean, we knew, um, given the last weekend, how that played out, we knew we needed these two. It was a big win, or uh, two big games. We had the number 19 uh, ranked team in the country coming in. So um, we felt like, you know, this could be the turning point for our season where we just had to refocus and, and just get back on track. You know, you beat a ranked team. It's kind of almost human nature to kind of take your foot off the gas pedal, knowing the next night you're not playing a national ranked team. But you guys didn't do that. You came out hard and you came out to win. I mean, how did you guys kind of keep that momentum going? We just knew um, that we had to take care of business at the home, uh, on the home court every game. Um, you know, it's important to get these wins and then, you know, try and steal a few on the road. So we have a, a big road trip coming up, and we're just getting ready for that now. Um, obviously, defense is so key for you guys. These two teams have scored a lot of points, held them in track. What worked for you guys on that side of the ball? Um, just doing what we always do. I think that's the strength of this team. Um, I think, honestly, the offensive side helped us this weekend. Um, I think we held them to, like, 59 points average this weekend over both games. So um, I think our offense helped our defense, but we also have a great defense. We know that's the strength of our team. So uh, I'm just glad we got the job done at the end of the day. I mean, we've had a few rough road games that we – Adams, we wish we could have got. And, you know, for Lewis, but I mean, we bounced back. We beat nationally ranked Dixie, which was nice in that. Just put, gave us the push that we needed at the end of the day to get past Westminster tonight. And I think that we're on a roll right now. And I think we've really uh, just highly motivated to get the job done, go move up in the standings. I know everyone's uh, preaching resiliency and getting the job done defensively and everything. So I think that we're in a good, we're in a good spot right now. And I mean, it's not exactly where we want to be, but we're going to get better every game. Sir, but just talk, tell me, take me through this week of practice. What was it like for you guys? You're motivated, you're anxious, you're ready to get back in this court at home. What, what did you see from that practice this week? I'm going to be honest, this week of practice was one of our tougher week of practices. Just because of uh, last weekend, I mean, we didn't play the way we should have played last week. And, and we knew that as a team. I mean, we came out, we had a tough, nitty gritty practice, just like, just junkyard dog, just getting after each other every day. Everyone was getting after it. And I mean, that's why everyone like provided for the team this week. And I think, I mean, spots were for grabs and everything. And I think we all want to play and I think we all are good players. So that's why, I mean, you see the way the scoring was and everything. And I mean, I think that at the end of the day, like we're a good team and we know we're a good team. You know, I think this weekend went great. We're happy to get two wins this weekend, bounce back, you know, this week in practice, we were just preaching resiliency, you know and make sure we just do the right thing every day. And it led to two wins this weekend. You know, our guys are all bought in, and you can tell on the defensive side of the ball. I know last night you beat a nationally ranked team in Dixie State. Some people may have a let off or let go the next night. You guys didn't have that. What was kind of the difference? How did you guys keep that momentum going from last night till tonight? You know, that actually motivated us. We thought, why not get both? We got one, let's get the job done and get two wins on the weekend. Uh, in terms of the team, that's called a team victory. I think right. uh, five or six players had nine points. It wasn't right. one person standing out. Right. How fun is that to watch? It's really fun. It just shows how many guys we have that can put the ball in the hoop, and we're all just bought in. And, you know, it's that next man up mentality, and we just find the extra open, open guy, and we get the job done. I'm ah, feeling really good. You know, we've done uh, – um, we, we've pushed through some, some adversity. You know, it was really good to see the guys just compete. You know, and play, and I wish we could play every game at home. I mean, can we get that done? Can we play, play every game at home? Right, every game's at home. Uh, but I think I think it shows the resiliency of this group, and that's the one thing that you can always have, man. It's one thing we can always fall back on is is our ability to bounce back. You know, and hopefully this catapults us in to continue because we're about basically halfway through our season, right? We're a little bit halfway through. We still got 13 conference games left, and the way the standings look right now, everyone's right there. You know, but we got to take it one game at a time, one day at a time. And that's sort of our mindset, our mentality, but we're definitely going to enjoy this tonight. I feel like it's human nature. You play a nationally ranked team, maybe you take your foot off the gas pedal. How'd you keep that momentum going tonight? Well, I thought we just came out and started with our defensive effort. I mean, when you hold a team to 22 points in the first half, and realistically, it could have been 16 or 17, you know, which, I mean, that's what we have to fall back on. That's like our safety net, you know? So maybe we're not making shots, or we're not shooting the ball the way we want to, or we're not, we're turning over a little bit too much. We always have to have something to fall back on. And I think that's our defensive intensity. And if we can continue to progress and just focus a ton of energy on the defensive side, and offense will take care of it. So it's all about rhythm and timing, but the defensive side's got to stay consistent. Speaking of the offense, no one had double digits, but man, a lot of people contributed. A six, six or seven had nine, someone had seven. What, what was working on that side? How cool is it to kind of see everybody get involved? I think it's just sort of what the team is. You know, it's next man up. It's uh, it, it's really cool to see that. You know, we had ten guys play double digit minutes. You know, which is highly unlikely. You, most of the time, you see only five, six, maybe seven players playing. Guys playing extended minutes, but I think that's the versatility of our team. Is we can throw guys in there and. Uh, we're hard to scout that way. Multiple guys can do multiple things. Uh, so I think it's an, I think it's an advantage for us.